a great quote from Nick Berry. People love the concept of growth, but they don't want the growing pains to come with it. I think most people know what they need to do next, and they're just afraid to, to do it. My name is Derek Thiel. I'm the owner and operator of Dialed Health, and we do strength training for cyclists. I provide every tool necessary for someone to train their bodies off the bike so that they can have the best experience possible on the bike. So this ride is a double Everest, which means that I'm climbing the equivalent height of Mount Everest twice. This road in particular that we found, it is right on the coast. It's just over 1,300 feet of climbing, which is on the higher side, but the average gradient's 11.5%, and there are some pitches that are over 17. After Everesting on my trail bike, it took 20 hours elapsed time, and I wondered what I could do in 24 hours. I thought, well, when I look at my times, and I think I could double the vert if I was on a road bike, and I had the same support that I did for the trail ride. We're three days out from the ride, and I'm doing my final strength training session. The real goal here is to make sure my muscles stay activated, but I don't cause any additional fatigue. We want to do some kettlebell work. Tactical snatch. So the movements and layout of this workout are very similar to what I would normally do. I'm just going a little bit lighter. You know, I have three kids, basically under three. I have a three-year-old and two one-and-a-half-year-old twins. Roll it. Get it out. Roll it. My wife is on the hook when I'm gone doing something like this, so it's really exciting, but I also want to make sure that they're taken care of as much as possible. And I think any dad knows that the less they feel what you're doing, the better it is for everyone. If I'm stressed out at home about training, about really anything, and I bring that stress on them, and it's all because of this ride, next time I bring something like this up, they're gonna be like, eh, I remember last time, it wasn't very fun for the rest of us. So I'm trying to keep that in mind and make this whole experience as easy for everyone as possible. Hi, baby. <laughs> I'm Lish, Alicia. We've been together for 15 years, 16 years, married for six. Man, <laughs> how did he come up with the Everest? The shark jaw on his wrist, um, it's his reminder to stay gnarly. And so I think he's always gonna be looking for his next challenge, his next, you know, how am I gonna push my body to the limit? How am I gonna push my mind to the limit? He's, he's definitely the type of person who's gonna be pushing it till he's 90 years old. He won't miss a workout, and he'll he'll try to make it as easy on me as possible. But yeah, I mean, he'll get up at you know if I say we're like we're leaving for a trip tomorrow to like go out of town, and he has to ride that morning. He will ride that morning when I'm like, we gotta load up the car, we gotta pack the kit, you know. So that type of stuff I think can be challenging. But I also know if he doesn't, we call it get his wiggles out, it'll be worse. And so <laughs> we let him get his wiggles out. <laughs> In a lot of days, it's like come home straight from work, go straight into dad duty, and you're smoked by the end of it. And I knew that committing to this project, the one thing I wasn't willing to do was disrupt my workflow and my family flow right now. One thing I've learned being consistent with my training over the years, that it really makes me the best version of myself. It gets my wiggles out. It makes me more gentle and loving for my family at home. It makes me feel more excited to go to work. It just brings more balance into your life. My training leading up to this has not changed very much. It has gotten a little bit more specific toward high tempo and low sweet spot as we've gotten a little bit closer. But to be honest, I have a really good training rhythm right now. Fitness-wise, across the board, uh, especially not drinking alcohol for the last almost two months leading up to this, I feel like I have more clarity, more oomph, more energy. It was finding the things that I could do personally that can stack up to give me my best performance. 
And that's what's made me feel so confident is that I feel like I've done that to the best of my ability. And even though I know having more volume on the bike would probably be better for this in particular, the rest of my life feels really good right now. So I'm just going in feeling, feeling ready. Almost every time I use my blender, it seems like my kids are napping inside, so I really bring it in the garage to blend it. It's like dad problems right here. We have a lean team going down of five total, including myself. The four other guys that are coming along are really gonna allow me to just ride and focus on that part alone. We have two videographers, we have Zach Youngberg, and then I have Brady Nations, who's been doing the majority of my content over the last year and a half. The other two on the team are my dad, Jim, and Pete Moyer, who is a Dodge fan member, and someone I've actually become really close friends with. <laughs> yeah, sugar. Say bye to daddy. Oh, okay, okay I'll say it. bye, daddy. Do a great job. All right, let's get in touch. That would be great. Thanks, say bye to Chrissy. She's bye. 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 I love you. See ya. You're gonna I'll call you guys. Oh, we're Whoa. Bye. Whoa. See you, Rocket Boy. That's Bunny. Okay. Bye, guys. See you, bro. Love you, guys. All right. All right. The hardest part's over. Getting yeah. out the door. That honestly went really smooth. I'm kind of surprised. I was talking to Lish about it last night. It's gonna be really hard, but at the same time, it's not like I'm staring at some ugly wall somewhere or there's no view. I mean, it's literally the coolest road I've ever ridden. Oh, ho, ho. This is steep. This is my first time driving up this road. I've only ridden down it. We're gonna do a sight lap and then I'm gonna do an actual riding lap. The road was just, it was so narrow, so steep. It was extremely concerning to me. You really fear, it's your child, right? You really fear and you know how capable they are, but I was certainly worried about that. And then there's the other part of me that goes, that's badass. That is, that is legit, man. No one will ever think that, uh, that you didn't have to put out a serious effort to make this happen. So this is like the one big hairpin. Yeah, that's tight. Yo! Oh. That's sketch. Yeah. Dude, look at this exposure. Look at that. <laughs> that's a dream view right there. It's funny because as I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about how gnarly the climb is gonna be, and I'm also thinking about how scary the descent's gonna be. Um, or and scary is not the right words, but like you're gonna have to be very focused. I don't think this is gonna be a descent that you just turn your brain off and try and recover. <laughs> Dude, that is gnarly, man. Bro, that is. And you're right. It's 10 degrees hotter and almost no wind. Yeah. I was just like, this is not gonna be a restful downhill. This is like I'm gonna be on my toes. You gotta pay attention. Yeah. So we're about 45 minutes from the segment, staying at a buddy's house, which is pretty ideal because it's so cozy. Obviously, I got a lot of space to warm up. I think just doing some movement on the foam roller, a little hip activation is kind of mandatory for me to feel my best. Honestly, I feel probably the least nervous I've felt in the last couple of weeks because I think we're finally just doing it. I'm stoked to just get moving, really, and just to start the clock and just start counting it down. It's so funny, dude, I was wrapping up my sleeping bag this morning and I found this little toy uh, for my kids hooked in there. And it's like the sappy things as a dad, but you see that and it just makes you feel like so excited about what you're doing. And, and also like just in general, I think there's been so much work up to this point. There's so many opportunities to fail. And even yesterday after looking at the segment, I was like, dude, this road is pretty dangerous. It makes you stop and think like, wow, like why am I doing this? And uh, since then it's been cool to just kind of reaffirm how rad everything is, you know? Uh, but I don't know, it was just funny seeing that little hook was kind of this just reminder uh, to get it done, you know? And come back to my kids stoked. So uh, yeah, I feel good this morning, man. Honestly, I'm excited to ride my bike. Weather's good, team set. Now I just gotta start pedaling.
We good? Oh yeah. Ready to ride. I'm so stoked I got the face on you guys. <clears throat> Big ride, just gotta keep going. That's right. Bike ride. Bye, Cruzy. Bye, Rocket Boy. Love you guys. Alright, bye. Sweet. Now we're ready. That was awesome. Alright, let's go do this thing. Thanks to Specialize being one of my sponsors, thank God, because they make the perfect bike for this. It's called the Athos, and with Garmin, I'm able to build this bike up and have all the data I need to track it and also to make it the safest ride possible. We put a one by 36 tooth ring on the front and then we put a gravel cassette on the back. It's the SRAM Explore gravel, so it's a 1044 on the rear. So basically I have a 44 on the rear and a 36 on the front as my biggest climbing gears. And the bike before pedals was sub 15 pounds. It was 14 pounds, 15 ounces. And that was before popping the bottle cage off. And that was with double wrap bar tape, which is another thing we did just for added comfort. So that's how we got the bike as light as possible. And the next step was making sure that we can track every single thing that we do, that I can watch my power. We have a Garmin 1040 solar powered head unit, and I'm not gonna have to worry about charging it. And we also have the dual sided RS200 power pedals so that I can just watch my power the whole time. I can compare my left leg to my right leg and just make sure my body is, is doing the effort that I really wanna do. Even driving, it's like all the nerves I had just turned into pure motivation of like, keep moving, let's start this thing and let's just get it done, man. I, I know this is just gonna raise the bar for me on everything else. It's gonna make other rides feel easier. It's gonna make other parts of life feel easier. And it's just rad. It's fresh, dude. Yeah. Perfect kit for today. Diablo. I freaking love that. That's my favorite. Oh, right? So comfy. Hey, Dad, do you think a couple times Today, you could give Lish and mom updates. I absolutely will. Finally yeah, doing 9 it. 15, man. Hit a schedule. Love it. You guys ready for this? We're ready. I love you, man. I love you. Thanks for doing this today, man. Dude, I'm proud of you. Just, hey, this time just, tomorrow. I'm proud of you just for being here. This time tomorrow. Yep, it takes Thank a man you. just to show up. Way to go. All right. All right. It's time to do this thing. 24 hours. Do so, baby. Here we go. Cruising. It. Be hard when it gets hard. You. balanced diet where I drink over a gallon of water a day. I hit a gram per pound of body weight and protein per day. I have a high carbohydrate diet. It's just, it's very, it's very balanced and conducive to performance. And even leading up to this, I haven't had alcohol in almost two months. It's insane to see the performance benefits, the improvements in my sleep, hydration in general, my mental clarity. Bottle. Got it. Did you have any problem with the feds? No, dude. I told him when I'm, my name was Pete. No problem. We got it all covered. My name's Pete Moore. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Here's my address. Oh, yeah, boy. Yeah, Lap four. I'm like two done already, huh? 
four. 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 This is his yeah, four. Fucking wow. hell, how many watts per kilo is he doing? He hasn't said, but he's yeah, they're, he's doing them in like under 25 minutes. Right. Under now. 25 wow. minutes? Yeah. Oh, I didn't hit my lap button. I don't even want to know how long that took. <laughs> Now the funny thing is, you might expect I have a perfect nutrition plan set throughout the day where it's 100 grams of carbs per hour and this many grams of fat and this, it, it's not gonna be like that. I'm gonna have a wide variety of gels. I'll have gummies, drink mix, BPN, G1M Sport. I'll also use their electrolytes. It's 500 milligrams of sodium per scoop, like Coca-Cola, Red Bull, Gatorade, all the candy, like every candy you can imagine, Peachos, Sour Patch, PB&Js. Like the cram peanut butter and jelly sandwiches are without a doubt, I think the best. And one of my favorite things on days like this are turkey wraps, and I'll just load it up with extra mustard, Pringles, prosciutto, salami. I'm also gonna have mixed nuts that are salted, and we're gonna have a variety of bars. I know this sounds like an insane amount of food and a crazy variety, like no, you're really, you're not gonna have all that stuff, but but I really will. We're like almost a lap ahead of schedule. Thanks for coming out, bro. Oh, yeah, for sure. All right, come have a sheet. You got your electrolytes here, uh, water Ooh, here. It's nice, look at this. This thing's too deep. Oh, it's too deep? Oh my yeah, gosh, you're not gonna be able to yeah, get out of that. Yeah, we're a bit of a, can you yeah, pull yeah. this thing yeah. up? Sorry, we're on a bit of a, bit of an incline here. Oh. That's the move. Yeah, there you go. Ooh. This thing will really, uh, Nice guys. I'll tell you this descent's getting more and more fun as I get more comfortable with it. Yeah. When I saw that old dude on that Schwinn go down it, I was like, <laughs> you know I can't be scared of it if that's the case. Yeah. Derek, I'm heading out, bro. King, you're the yeah. man, dude. Thank you so much. It means a lot that you're out here, bro. Yeah, dude, Seriously, for sure. so sick. All right, guys. All right. Thank you. Awesome pissed off. So that was five laps. Yep. Yeah. I'm about to complete five. That's all five. Yep. We got about 45 laps today, so we got. Eight more of those to go. There you go, buddy. All right, thanks, dudes. Good luck. Get it. Let's go. Nice, look at you go, baby. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> gotcha. Oh. Well, I'm starting to feel it. Nice. We're over 11K. This top part's hot. Whole bottom part on the descent, I'm like cold. Oh, really? Yeah. It's cooling off. Okay. I feel like the last two laps, I settled into the pace I'm actually gonna be riding. It's like three minutes slower. Which is? Uh, it's still under 30 minute laps. Okay. But it's like 28 instead of 25. I'm actually looking forward to it getting dark. Yeah. It's gonna make the middle pitch of this, dude, it's like 12% for like a mile. It just doesn't let up. Yeah. And then like the very top is mellow and even the bottom until I, there's just this one point where it starts pitching and it, it's just crazy how it doesn't let up. You asked if my kids were like motiv like a motivation. It's funny, but I've been actually thinking about them a lot already on this ride. Have you? I feel like it really helps. I feel like if I start getting negative, I just think about my kids doing something funny. Yeah. <laughs> totally turns it around. Totally. 11K is still hard even when you gotta ride 58K. <laughs> News flash. I'm starting to feel it. Paper boying a little bit on the climbs. But honestly, everything's going really smooth so far. You got it. I 
left the light on the whole time. I don't know why. Just kind of drain the battery. Coke? That water helps a lot. Did it? Or the ice. Ice? Good. You want some more for your back right now? No. Okay. I think we'll just need to do it till the sun goes down. You good? Yeah. Man, the first two laps I feel good is that third lap. Same as last time. Yeah, I feel a lot better than last time now. It's the heat. We're almost done with it, buddy. Yeah. You through a banana? No. I'll just take the jaw just because. You want to do your hands or pocket? Pocket. Thanks, bro. Yep. Appreciate it. Yep. Crushing it. That helped a lot. You want another lap, you guys? Yeah. Like that. What's up? What up, dude? That's a steep fish hill right there. Right <laughs> I haven't been up that in a while. I'm starting to, starting to paper boy. Or I've been paper boying a little bit. It's what? just so relentless. I brought, I brought two e-bikes if any of you guys want to ride with them. Oh, nice, man. It's the, awesome, the dude. E -bike. Nah, how much time does he have to chill up here? He's, been, he's stopping about every three, every three laps now. And, I'm staying up for like a little over 10 minutes. Oh, really? <clears throat> I'm kind of just waiting until I feel better. This is the last hard pull. If the sun goes down, it'll be a different story. Thanks, Dad. You got it, you got it. Thanks for keeping the ladies updated. You're doing a great job, pal. Oh, I need you got that back on there? Yeah, so you got it back. I'm not sure if it's on or... And... Yeah, you just put it in a bit. Oh, okay. Sweet. All right. You got it? Yep. All right. Smooth. We'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. See ya. You want ice again coming up? that first Everest. Drink that mustard. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Yeah. Hot shots. See you tomorrow morning. Yeah. Thank you.
Dude, since the sun, yes. since it cooled off, yeah. But I haven't had my powers come up yeah. by like 40 watts. Don't push it, just go easy. I know, yeah, but it's just easy, like, yeah, no, you like know, it, it, it feels I, mean, easy. I was telling the guys, we got it. Once that goes down, you'll be able to regulate your, everything, right? You just got to get out of the yeah. inconsistent. And we got to get some fluids back in you. I was concerned you're a little dehydrated. Do you want to throw a vest on for this descent drop? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I got one in my good pocket. Idea. Good idea. I'm going to put this in your container. I blew it by not downloading like a metal playlist. Baby. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah I like, came did. by blasting some like Metallica and I was oh. like, oh my gosh, why am I not listening to that? But, oh. 25,837 feet. Dang, that's a lot. Sweet. All right, thanks guys. Appreciate it. You got it. Do it. Feeling good. All right. Yeah, let's adjust my brake levers. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Want to for your next stop? Do you want to have a hot meal? Yeah, three laps and the hot meal sounds good. All right, you got it. Can you? Yeah, not bad, guys. We're in the back half. Mmm, those were good. Woo, those were good. <laughs> Number one. Damn. What's more? I feel like since I've cooled down, my appetite's come back too. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I like it was so hard that's to a eat. Good like sign. solid. It's food, a really dude. good sign. Yep. Uh, too hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just gonna pour in your hands. Oh, you actually did that. Yeah. That's, that's how I do it on my own. That's, that's what we do. Yeah, you get some help here. It's fun to wash though. I, I talked about that on my podcast. I, I like, remember this that. This is how you wash your own face. People thought I was disgusting. Yeah. Wait, what'd you do? He Just drank saying, the like, water out of the bottle, you... spit it back in his hands, and washed his face oh. with it. Hi, right, guys. Careful. Right. Yeah. Yep. Dude, thank God Josh drove down. I rode half that thing in the dark. Hey, do you want to stop right here and swap? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm not quite sure how this. Um... Yeah, we have to start swapping this over here. Every time I stop, gel in the back. You got another one, yeah? Dude, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Josh, you saved the day, bro. Thanks for turning around. Yeah, oh, good timing, no buddy. Worries. Oh, no. Oh, God. It scared me. It, it gave me a warning by going to the low setting, and it wouldn't go in the high setting on the descent, which is hella sketchy. Yeah. We're going to sure. have to start swapping these every. Can you put that on the charger? Yeah. yeah. You guys good? We got it. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. You saved the day, bro. Thanks, buddy. Yes, sir. Got it. 120 in the morning, and uh, we're looking at lap 29. Uh, the guy's crushing it, man. He's doing super good. As soon as the sun went down and he got out of that boiling heat, it really changed his ability to kind of just recuperate. Uh, we've kind of leveled him out, got him rehydrated now, and he's just been charging. So he's doing a great job. Can you give me a Tums? Yeah. Just one tablet? Can you send a console? Yep. Yeah, no problem. You got a hot meal waiting for you. Thank you. When you make that corner, the stars are insane. I actually turned off my headlight for a second. Beautiful. Just to check it out. Dude, I've seen like 10 tarantulas. Spaghetti. Dude, these are the most clutch thing. I don't think I'll ever do a 24 hour thing without these. <laughs> This is like the life of luxury right here. There you man. go, buddy. You, mm. want you want Pete to rub your feet? Yes. <laughs> Do you want to change your socks? I don't think so. Okay. No, no like gnarly hot spots or anything? No. Nah. I think once we get in the 40s, it's just like... Getting to 48. 
and count down the last 10k. Oh yeah. We got about two more stops, and then we're gonna start. That's just we're gonna start to see some light in the sky. Yeah. I've asked myself a few times. It's like really in the moment. I'm like, I don't feel that bad, but you just get over it because you've been feeling that way for so long. But. With the exception of the uh, the heat earlier, I ha there hasn't been one moment where I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Um, my legs still feel strong, <clears throat> no cramps. Um, but even though these stops are like longer than what I had anticipated, it's worth it because I feel like by the time I drop back in, I feel really good, especially the first two laps. It's like the third one's a little bit more of a grind, but. I have the, this to look forward to, so <clears throat> definitely helps. All right. All right, buddy. Control. Screw the control right to the bottom. Yes, sir. All right. Thanks, you guys. See you in a minute. A little after two in the morning, I uh, just came down to the bottom right here on the oceans right in front of us and i um, been picking up Derek's jacket. The descents are getting pretty chilly and um, uh, every third lap he's stopping and eating some food and and, um, the, and I think his course kind of temps dropping a bit. Hey boys. Can I get black coffee and Oreos? Yep. Man, I blew it by not bringing more caffeine. I was getting sleepy on that one. All right, man. Three laps in the dark. Three laps in the dark and it's over. Three laps in the dark and it's over. And if we need to next time, we'll put you in the car with the heater <sighs> and something warm. It's, yeah. it's time, buddy. It's 4 o'clock. I'm the only one going out there who's going to experience this. You feel a little bit lonely. Not only on the day are you doing the majority of the riding by yourself, but even leading up to it, coordinating it, the aftermath, you have to miss out on a lot of the group rides or races that kind of conflict. To be honest, like I think I feel more selfish to where I'm like, why would I choose to do this when I can go experience this event with all these other people? I think the answer to that is me trying to come up with the coolest thing I could possibly do on a bike. I want to go race and I want to compete, but I know that I'm not competitive in that like I used to be and I don't really care to be. For me to really push myself, I needed to almost curate this perfect storm to really use all of my strengths. back to life. There's no point 
kind of bombed or felt like I was hungry, needed sugar, anything like that, my body was just done. There was one climb. I just kind of like whimpered a little bit on the climb. Like I just kind of had a couple heavy breaths that like, you know, like I almost was like about to cry because I was just so like overwhelmed with the fact that I had to just feel like this. I just could not let myself feel anymore. The second I felt something, I wanted to stop. All right, buddy. Down in the single digits. Here we go. Gotcha. Gotcha. I never suffered on a bike like that. My. Oh, that's so hard. <clears throat> Got it. Yeah. So if you want the lid off, my just body to... is so done. Oh. Got, Got it. Got 9K to go. Got it. I took the lid off, so don't. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. We're so close, but man, my body's. Let's get some feels food. like it's giving out, but I think all the sugar is gonna. Let's get some food in here. Get back. Oh, dude. I'm so excited to be done with this. Got like five more laps. You got that. You got I know I can do sure. it. Got some fellow riders incoming. Oh yeah, here comes a posse. Baby. We're here for Derek! never seen him so shattered. But what's amazing is, as beat as his body is, his mind's not giving up. How much you need? 40? 58, 64. 57, 9, it means 58, 64. Damn. Woo! Yeah! Hey, there's a car coming. There's a car coming. Let's get you out of there. Yeah! Yee-hee-hee-hee-hee! That was the hardest thing I've ever done. Ah! Right at the top, baby. Ah, oh, nice work. You got it? Got it? Yeah! You got it? Yeah. Awesome, buddy. Yeah! Woo! Yo. Yeah! Oh, my god. You gosh. did it, man! That's insane! I can't believe it. Oh. Dude, that's the hardest thing I've ever seen anybody do. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That took 27 hours and 30 minutes. Wow. That's ins oh, it's pure insanity, bro. Dude, that was, that was the hardest Such thing Such an ever amazing done. effort. Yeah, I'm so, so happy that's done, So guys. proud of you, I bud. wanted to quit so bad. So I've never seen you so smashed. And you just I've never been kept like that. digging, man. Dude. Uh, it's the most grit oh. I've ever seen, bud. 202 miles, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> you did so good. Thank you so, so much. So proud of you, buddy. So proud of you. Thank you guys so much. I'm gonna be honest, not quitting now. That's probably the most savage thing I've ever done. That is brutal. Get in there. All right, let's get you back, get you some food. 
Dude, thank you God that's over, bro. To pop. I don't even know what just happened. I'm getting this tatted on me because there's no chance I'm ever going to try and beat that. <laughs> Dude, my butt's getting real uncomfy sitting here. One thing that's never happened on a ride is that my nuts are pretty swollen. I had to ice those suckers. Just honestly, when I took my bib off, I've never seen the whole undercarriage situation so agitated. We'll just say agitated. Everything.